Believe it or not, I had never used the AeroPress until now. I figured I didn't really need another brewing method to obsess about. But if you're a coffee enthusiast who enjoy making great coffee at home and you haven't had the chance to try the AeroPress before, let me warn you, it totally ruined my coffee experience. Just not in the way you think. Hear me out. Hi, I'm Liz, former cafe manager and professional barista, and I believe that enjoying great coffee should not be a luxury. In this video, I'll review the AeroPress Clear, and I'll tell you everything you need to know about it. What it is, how it works, what's new about this one, my experience with it, and who it is made for. So keep watching if you want to know whether or not to make the AeroPress Clear your new daily brewer. Let's go! The AeroPress is a fairly recent invention. At a first glance, it looks simple and not as sexy when standing next to other brewers and machines, but there's more than meets the eye. In fact, it was these same devices that prompted inventor Alan Adler to create the first AeroPress back in 2005. Trying to reduce bitterness and acidity from his daily coffee, his dissatisfaction and frustration drove him to develop the first AeroPress in his garage, and nailing this innovative and functional design that remains fairly unchanged after almost 20 years. To the majority of people, this might just be another piece of plastic. However, there's a reason why the AeroPress is so popular among coffee enthusiasts and pro baristas around the world. But first, let's see what you get in the box. The one I've got here is the AeroPress Clear. What's new about it? Well, it's obviously clear, which is a way for AeroPress to go back to their roots. The first AeroPress was clear, but they had to change the materials to improve it, so it has looked like this for the longest time. Now we get the OG look back thanks to the use of Triton plastic, which is not only BPA-free, but also incredibly durable, dishwasher safe, and will not stain over time. In fact, James Hoffman did plenty of tests with it, and it seems like this new material is superior to what they used in the original one. As a mom, I really value durability. I'm always multitasking and brewing often happens with my hands full, so the AeroPress falling is bound to happen. What I really like though, is that I can see the process happening clearly, and most coffee snobs have to admit, we love watching the magic happen. But what else do you get for the $50 you pay for the clear? You get a scoop, a steamer, and a pack of 100 paper microfilters. Pretty much the same you get with the original, which is only $40. Full disclosure here, one of the main complaints I have seen in other reviews is how they've reduced the amount of filters and removed other accessories that used to come with it. And this is my honest opinion about it. If you already own the original letter of press and you decide to get this one, you're not really going to use the extra accessories and most likely you have a ton of filters at home. But if you're a new user like me, you're not gonna miss any of this. It didn't truly really make a difference in my brewing experience and I wasn't aware of the missing accessories until I did some research. Also, I believe that what you get in terms of materials in this new one is worth the price difference. It is just better overall. If you don't feel the same though, just snack the 15% discount code I managed to get for you down in the description. And while you're at it, if you're getting value from this video, remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. This will help my content reach more audiences and help more people transform their ordinary mornings into an extraordinary coffee experience. I was surprised by how many non-coffee people own one of these, as it is a portable and easy solution to get good coffee quickly. But why is the specialty coffee world so obsessed about the AeroPress? And is the craze justified? Brewing with the AeroPress is as simple as it gets. I'll show you the specific recipe I've been using, which is giving me the best result for my taste. But first, this is how it works in a nutshell. Set up your brew by pulling the plunger out, then placing a filter into the cap and twisting it onto the chamber before placing it on top of your mug or carafe. One of the main characteristics of AeroPress is that you don't need any precision tools to successfully brew a delicious cup. The device is pretty forgiving. Even the instructions that come on the box are volumetric. So start with a scoop of finely ground coffee, add hot water all the way up to the number four, stir for about 10 seconds, and insert the tip of the plunger into the top of the chamber. The AeroPress uses both immersion and pressure, so it's a wonderful combination of extraction methods, incredibly different from others like the pour over. You could say it's almost like a middle point between a French press and a mocha pot, 
The hot water has enough time to fully saturate and extract flavor out of the grounds, but not for long, since you will then press down the plunger and extract the rest of the flavor. An average AeroPress brew will last two minutes approximately, which is faster than most methods, and it's enough to give you a full-bodied cup with beautiful complexity. If you're not getting a pleasant cup on your first try, you're most likely doing it wrong. Of course, things can get a lot more interesting if you decide to wait out your coffee and your water and play around with precision, which is what captured the attention of the specialty coffee world. There are so many ways to experiment with the AeroPress that it led to the creation of the World AeroPress Championship, which started as a small competition between friends back in 2008 and now involves more than 60 countries and over 4,000 competitors each year. With this said, I want to share with you what I've discovered is my favorite way to brew, and here's how it goes. Grind 20 grams of lightly roasted coffee beans to a medium-fine setting. The grind size should be slightly finer than your regular pour-over setting. Level up the coffee bed before adding water for an even extraction. The water temperature can be anywhere between 80 and 90 degrees Celsius. This recipe uses a 1 to 15 ratio of coffee to water, so add 15 milliliters of water for every gram of coffee for a total of 300 milliliters. Start by blooming the coffee with 60 milliliters of water and steering back to front, not in a circle motion, to fully saturate the grounds. Do this for approximately 10 seconds. Then, quickly pour the rest of the water to 300 grams and insert the plunger. Let it rest for 30 seconds with the plunger on. Finally, let's plunge, but do it gently. Part of the ritual is simply letting the weight of your hands lay on top of the AeroPress. This pressure will be enough to produce a great cup, or even two smaller ones. And the best part? It produces a clean profile. There is no sediment in the cup because we're not overdoing the necessary pressure, the paper filter traps the oil, and the extraction is even when we apply gentle force. Of course, I can't forget to mention how easy it is to clean. Simply pop out the filter and give it a rinse. This is maybe the most enjoyable part of the process for me. No hassle. I've noticed that in the specialty coffee world, we care about three things. The flavor, the rituals, and the looks. We fall in love with the profiles and consistently try to achieve perfect results while turning the act of coffee making into a significant and enjoyable part of our day. But ultimately, we want to proudly display our skills and our gadget collection in the most visually appealing way possible. So imagine how out of place a gray plastic device looks in any of these coffee bars. But not this one, no. The AeroPress Clear is all about aesthetics. Glass looking, slick design that's now swamping social media by the hands of coffee lovers, creators, and honestly, anyone who owns one. And to any coffee lover who's looking to get their first AeroPress, take note, the AeroPress Clear totally ruined my coffee experience. I gotta be honest, I never had high expectations about it, hence the time it took me to get my hands on it. Granted, this is the must have for any so-called coffee nerd, but there's only so much I can brew. And even if I'm making content, there's a lot to talk about espresso, pour over, even my beloved mocha pot. So I postponed this brewer until the time was right. But now I regret taking so long to do so. You see, the AeroPress is not only an easy to use, friendly tool made for anyone who wants to make coffee at home or outdoors, but it opened an entire new world of possibilities. Testing, recipes, ideas, and flavors I wasn't expecting at all. My very first brew, using well-known beans, gave me a result that left me flabbergasted. On the very first week, the AeroPress took my attention away from all my espresso making and replaced the mocha pot and V60 as my daily brewer. And I'm honestly afraid that I cannot go back. Sounds like I might be overreacting, I know. You won't ever get true espresso results from it, and you can't really compare one brewer to another. So I hope I can balance things out on time. But as a mom, as a humbarista, as a nerd who loves to experiment and learn new recipes, and as someone who needs great coffee multiple times a day and fast, this is honestly going to be hard to beat for now. Because let's face it, coffee is life, and having mediocre coffee is simply not acceptable. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.